So there's so much misinformation these days that I feel like I, I should do something about it. So last year, I decided to spend a week tweeting for science. And there's this Twitter account called Real Scientists, and they have every, uh, different real scientists every week. And so I decided to do that. And about at the same time, I came across the idea of STEM to STEAM, which is an idea that the arts will revolutionize the 21st century, just like science and technology did in the 20th century, right? And for that, I contacted an artist. There is a, his name is James Oystein, who's from Philadelphia, and he has an account called uh, Illustrated Science. So I met him on Twitter. And he was kind enough to illustrate some of my tweets, like this one. So I'm going to present my top three tweets for that week. This is my number three. It's just an analogy, a comparison of the dimensions of the atmosphere in comparison to the, the Earth as a whole. And one of James' illustrations. And this one reached over 6,000 people. My second most tweeted uh, tweet was the this one that shows something that I really wanted to convey that week, that weather forecast is pretty accurate these days. And it improved a lot in the past decades. So this one reached over 8,000 people. And my most uh, famous tweet, it was about climate change. So I was talking about how climate projections, climate change projections are made, not even going to the point that human activities are causing climate change. It's just telling them how do we, we do the simulations of climate change. And I got a massive coordinated troll attack. And this was my reply to them, and it got over 9,000 people, it reached over 9,000 people. And I can even show you one of the mean tweets I got doing this, one I can show at this time of the day, at least. So from Fox Goose, this guy is an absolute disgrace to science and impartial research. I think I did something right. So what have I, have I learned? Uh, it takes a lot of work to communicate science. Uh, it shouldn't feel like a, a chore. You, you you should enjoy if you do it, you enjoy it. And you don't have to make a career out of, it, out of it. You can just write a guest post on someone's blog. You can write an article for your local newspaper. You can give a lightning talk. So if you, all of us, put the, just a little bit of time, you know, putting good stuff out there, we can push all the bad stuff to the bottom of the web and be, you know, be part of the, the solution. Thank you.